Hi everybody, it's Mike Warsaw, and these are your game highlights of the week. As Matt May got a key first down, which set up a Braden Nolan 18-yard touchdown run, and Newton jumps out to a 7-0 lead. The Sussex D was able to get through the Newton line as they sacked Braves quarterback Robert McCullough. But McCullough rebounded as he connected with Dom Ferdenzi for a 30-yard pass. This set up a Braden Nolan 10-yard touchdown run, and it was his second score for Nolan in the game as the Braves went up 14-0. Then, with just under three minutes to go in the first quarter, Tech's Brian Gruber is sacked for a 12-yard loss. Tech goes for it on fourth and six, but the Newton defense shut down the Mustangs, and Newton took over on the Tech 35. After Taylor Sibley's ran it deep into Tech territory, Matt May runs it in for the touchdown, and Newton goes up 20 to nothing. In second quarter action, Newton got the ball back off a Tech penalty, which gave them excellent field position on the Tech six yard line. And on their first plate from scrimmage, Taylor Sibley's runs it in to give Newton a 27 to 0 lead. Then after forcing Tech to punt, a strong return by the various Posey sets up Braden Nolan as he shakes and bakes for a 20-yard touchdown. Braves go up 34-0. This is followed by an 8-yard TD run by Matt May and Newton leads 41-0. Then the Mustangs drove 69 yards and Brian Gruber ran it in for Tech's first TD of the day, but Newton wasted no time as Anthony Tutta runs it 45 yards to make it 48 to seven Braves. Then in the fourth quarter, Sussex Tech's Brian Gruber takes it all the way for a 75 yard Mustang touchdown as Sussex Tech scores for the second time in the game and Newton wins it. 48 to 14. The Cutting Edge Sports Network. Live, local, sports.